my dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ who is a Christian this is a basic fundamental question Christian is a disciple or follower of Jesus Jesus is the way to be followed and this way is the way of the cross discipleship and cross always go together today let us gaze at the cross and reflect on the message and meaning of the cross cross of compassion cross of forgiveness cross of struggle and hope today we shall reflect on the cross of compassion gospels portray jesus as a man of deep compassion he was a very sensitive person whenever he met a suffering person his heart melted gospel mentions 12 times he was moved with compassion the shortest and the most pregnant sentence in the whole of bible is jesus wept tears tears are a symbol of compassion expression of compassion and this compassion of jesus reaches its climax on the cross jesus on the cross identifies with the entire suffering humanity he is one with the suffering humanity he is in solidarity with the suffering humanity jesus died on the cross and was risen 2000 years ago it is not simply a past event it is a present event christ continues to suffer even today jesus christ continues to carry his cross today jesus is crucified today wherever people suffer christ suffers wherever there are children malnutrition and linked with that sickness many die before their age thousands of children die before time christ suffers there christ suffers among the young people people who are unemployed people who are jobless people are frustrated youth who have gone astray youth who have become victims of drug pornography and other things christ suffers christ suffers whenever women are not respected they are treated as commodity as things to be used and abused and discarded victims of rape and cruelty christ suffers there today christ suffers in the elderly who are forsaken abandoned by their children alone struggling to live their lives christ suffers wherever humanity suffers particularly during war we know russia and ukraine one year almost war is going on what a tragedy it is a madness that people are killed cruelty madness destruction people are crucified there jesus is going through tremendous suffering and agony wherever people suffer due to earthquakes syria turkey more than 40000 people are killed what about their families their children everything is shattered people are in exile christ suffers there my dear brothers and sisters wherever people suffer christ suffers what is our response to this the response is that we share in the suffering of people participate in the suffering of people thus participate in the suffering of jesus on the cross unfortunately today we are living in a world of indifference there has taken place globalization of indifference apathy we are not affected by the sufferings of people 
either our hearts are hardened or they are cold or they are empty. Bishop Helda Camara of Brazil once said, Prosperity and love of money freezes our hands, our legs, our hearts and our lips. People not affected, not disturbed and they often hear that is not my problem. If they have a problem, they are suffering, it is their problem, it is not my problem. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, it's time for us to reflect why we have become so indifferent, so apathetic. Perhaps we are used to suffering, we take for granted and we pass by. The time has come for us to get involved. Time has come for us whenever we see sick people, suffering people, people in pain. We need to weep. Perhaps there are no tears in our eyes. The need of the hour is to be affected and get involved and try to do something for others. The brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you two incidents of compassion. I had gone to take an orientation program for the teachers in Varanasi Diocese. And in that, one of the teachers shared her experience. There was an annual function. She was the class teacher of ninth. The girls were supposed to give a dance. And as you know, for a dance, we need a lot of things. And she said, you go and get all the things needed for the dance from your mother. Instead of buying from the market, you go and ask your mother. Accordingly, children were prepared, brought everything they needed for a dance. But there was one child who was weeping, sitting at the corner. And the teacher asked her, what is wrong? Why are you weeping? And the girl said, I have no mother. She was so much touched by this. This teacher embraced the child and said, Today onwards, I will be your mother. And accordingly, she, from her home, got all the things needed for the dance. And she did so well that she passed out from the institution. But every year, she used to come and wish her teacher happy birthday. And the most beautiful thing in this episode is the teacher was a Hindu and the girl was a Muslim. Compassion. Compassion. Another incident I would like to share with you. It happened in our diocese. In one of the mission stations, when it was initially started, you know, Lot of troubles, lot of resistance, lot of opposition. And the father there stayed in a hut, in a small house. And where there are also the animals beside him. And one day, when they were putting the walls, boundary walls, people came in a pose, disturbed, very tense. And father, from morning, didn't take breakfast, didn't have lunch, didn't have supper, nothing. And he was so hungry. He went back to where he was staying. And there, 93 year old, a Hindu lady, 93 year old and Hindu lady, got up at 1 o'clock at midnight. She knew father had nothing, he has not eaten. He has not drunk anything. And this lady got up and one glass of warm milk and some grams she provided him through the window at one o'clock midnight. What a compassion. What a sensitivity. This lady, 93 year old and a Hindu lady, how she felt compassion for this priest. So we are called to be men and women of compassion. Then we really become 
disciples of the crucified Lord. What is holiness? Holiness is measured in terms of compassion. Jesus said, be compassionate as your heavenly father is compassionate. What is compassion? Compassion simply means I feel your pain in my heart and try to do something to remove that suffering. That is compassion. As Christians, we need to be compassionate so that whatever help can be rendered either through words or gestures or deeds or relationship, we need to go out of ourselves from our comfort zone, from our soft living. We need to move towards the suffering humanity and thus become their strength, their hope and their courage. May God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.